Once again, we're back here live uh, <coughs> KPFA's uh, studios with the Vern Williams Band, and our engineers have it all set up. I thought we were going to have to put Vern outside. If you ever heard him sing, uh, <laughs> you know, you don't want him right next to a mic because there's no way to to uh, to limit it, the sound down. But uh, we've got some. We got in the fancy studio, and we got all the limiters set up, so he's in the same room with everybody else. And uh, welcome to KPFA. Thank you, Ray. I feel kind of weak today. I don't think you'll have no problem today. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you're all in for a treat, and let me tell you, it's a real pleasure to have Vern and the boys here today. And uh, I've been looking forward to this day for a long time. And uh, Vern, from the deepest part of my heart, uh, welcome here to KPFA. I've well, said thank that you, twice, Ray. but I thank really you. mean it. We've been trying to get down here for a long time, too, you know, but keep putting it off. And <laughs> okay. But it's good to be here. Well, let's hear some fine bluegrass music now. All right, we'll try to pick a couple. Hey, we're down at the old Cumberland Mountain Down in the hills of Tennessee Where she waited alone in the moonlight It was there that she waited for me go now <laughs> we supposed to just do another tune okay let's do down among the blue okay let's do that this is this is a song that we recorded not too long ago and uh we'd love to do it for you right now one called down among the budded roses
<laughs> hey, you're welcome, Vern. Sorry I had to leave the room to, to check on something a minute ago, but uh, you just keep going like uh, you're doing a regular show. I would like to mention to the folks out there that the, the Vern Williams Band has a brand new recording available on Rounder Records. And in my opinion, it's going to be uh, one of the best bluegrass albums of the 1980s. It's, I just, if you've listened to my, my regular bluegrass show now, Keith, uh, you've heard it. And uh, it just keeps getting better each time you play it. Every every tune on there just grows on you a little bit more. And even Keith does some nice stuff on it, too. <laughs> it's a real good record on Rounder Records, and I uh, highly recommend that any of you folks who are enjoying what you're listening to now or enjoy bluegrass in general uh, run out and pick up this album on Rounder Records. The Vern Williams Band is called Bluegrass from the Gold Country, and it's dynamite. Thank you, Ray. That's mighty kind. We're going to sing an old song now. Uh, I think this may be a, originally a Western swing tune, one called Live and Let Live. I think the first person I ever heard do it was Bob Wells, I'm sure. But uh, a lot of people do it bluegrass, and that's the way we're going to try to do it. Okay? <laughs> thinking what else we're going to do oh man i'd like uh, to hear that uh, that tune you did at rose maddox's benefit uh, bald knob arkansas is that oh it? yeah Boy, hey, we'd I, love to do that too i'd love to hear that this is a new tune that uh, i hadn't heard Vern do before and he he was at rose maddox's benefit at, at fort mason last weekend and if you missed that you missed a hell of a show but I heard it for the first yeah, time. Yeah, it kind of gets you right here, don't it? Boy, it sure does. Yeah, especially when you used to live down in Arkansas. Yeah. Yeah, I've been to Ball Knob many times. All right, one called Ball Knob, Arkansas.
KFAT, mighty fine, mighty fine. <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah, that's one of the intellectual <coughs> numbers. You know. Yeah, I'll, I've always loved that number, and uh, I heard it about 35 years ago one time on the radio. I couldn't find nobody that had the words, and I remembered two verses. The last one, I just made it up as a go. Could be different, you know, from time to time, but I'll get something in there. We love the song. <laughs> Yeah. You want us to do another one now, Ray? All right, we're going to uh, we'll get Keith over here on the five string banjo. He's going to play Pike County Breakdown.
indeed. Uh, I'm sure there's been a, quite a few folks who have joined us in the last 20 minutes, been uh, zipping along the radio dial and stopped dead right here. <laughs> well, you're listening to KPFA, and you're listening to the Vern Williams Band. Uh, Vern is down here from Valley Springs, California. Uh, he played a, a job last night in Berkeley, and now he's playing, donating his time and talent and those of his band members to to listening audience at KPFA to help us help us out in our spring marathon. With him is uh, Kevin Thompson on bass. How are you doing, Kevin? Good. Hey, all right. And uh, Keith Little, the boy from Georgetown, California. Or, um, I guess you're living up in uh, up near Valley Springs right now? Yeah. That's right, Keith. Right in the middle of the <laughs> Yeah. And Delbert Williams, uh, Vern's son, picking guitar. Keith is on banjo, by the way. Delbert, you want to say hello to anybody out there? Howdy, howdy. How about your kid? You want to say hello to your... Yeah, I don't know if she can receive it all this way. Well, I bet you she can. She should be trying to listen to us right now. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> All right. And, of course, Vern Williams. I'd like to say hello to everybody. Hope we're doing something you'll, you'll like. Just if, if, we're, if we haven't yet, just hang around. Maybe we'll get to one. <laughs> right now, we're going to get Delbert and Keith to uh, do a duet. I love to hear these boys sing. It's good to see these young guys that really get down there and sing a song. And they really do it. So here they are. Thank you, folks. All right, mighty fine. I'd like to get Delbert and Keith to help me do a gospel song, if they would. And uh, we can think of one right quick here. What about we, we will do one called The Home Above? This is a good old Bill Monroe song that he wrote years ago, and I don't, don't he, he don't even do it anymore, or at least I haven't heard him lately. We're going to try to do it, one called The Home Above. <laughs> Beyond the starlit sky, beyond the starlit 
is gone Where the soul of man will never die I'm ready to leave, I'm ready to leave this world below This world below to the home above To the home above I'm ready to go I'm ready to go Dad mother will say Dad mother will say Welcome on my son Thank you. It's going to take us just a minute here to get into another key, and we'll think of another song we can do for you. Let's do something in B, boys. All right. Wake me up here. I don't know where the announcer went to, Ray. He's off running around someplace. But we're just going to keep picking until he comes back and stops us. <laughs> All right. This is an old song called Nelly Across the Sea. I'll be 
just wonderful. You folks are listening to the Vern Williams Band here on KPFA, and uh, they came down here from Valley Springs, California, to play for you and uh, help KPFA raise a, raise a few bucks here on our spring marathon. And uh, <laughs> I think they're doing a damn fine job. I think they're one of the, the finest bluegrass bands in the, in the world. As evidenced by their record, they've got a brand new record out on Rounder Records. It's called Bluegrass from the gold country and if you don't have a copy of that rounder record uh, that rounder album you better go out and get one mighty fast because uh it's fine we got a request here ray and we'd like to do this next song especially for steve hogle up there we had a good time up at his place last summer eating that barbecued goat and everything drinking all that beer just had a wonderful time and uh, we're going to do one right now for him uh called you'll be a lost ball almost forgot that one we did study last night but that's a long time ago <laughs> all right uh we could sing that yeah let's do that especially for everybody out there from kentucky and all points south i love this song and uh i've heard johnny cash do it he's got a different version and uh, everybody i've heard do it has got got a different version but we trying to do it just the way it was written, as near as we can. One call them old Kentucky home. Thank you. 
making music all the day. Thank you. Ah, well, that's fine singing, Vern. And, and that sounds good on the radio, man. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> oh, here you come. I'm not telling you how good it sounded. Thank you. Sounding real good out there in the air. And uh, are you guys playing anywhere uh, in the future you'd like to, like to talk about, maybe? Uh, well, not the near future. Uh, we're playing up at Grass Valley in June, of course. We've got a concert coming up in Sacramento on the 24th of April. That's good. If, if it... If, if, if everything comes off just right, that they, that's what they've told me, and unless they change it. Uh, Keith, what's the, what's the name of What's the address of that 24th place? 24th Street Theater. 24th Street Theater in, in Sacramento. Is that one of the Fifth Five String? Five uh, Oh, Fifth String. Yeah, yeah, Fifth String's doing this, I think. Uh-huh. Normally, uh, we don't work much. <laughs> we don't pick much. Yeah. We do a lot of work. Okay, there, there's just four members of the band here with us today. Uh, they're a fiddle player is uh, way on tour at the moment, so we got uh, a four-piece band. It's sounding real fine. <laughs> Just get more mandolin breaks in there. That's <laughs> Yeah, B and B flat. You know, I hate them flats. Love singing them, though. What's it going to be, boys? Okay. <laughs>
to be true, dear. I want you please to understand when I return, don't say you're sorry. Keep on loving another man. Will you be loving another man? Will you be loving another man? When I return, will you be waiting? Or you be loving another man? All right, thank you. Now I suppose it's time for one more. Huh? Uh, I think you got time for a couple more. A couple you want. more. Okay. I, I don't want you guys to quit. You guys are just so hot. Some of the best bluegrass I've heard in moons. Oh, this is great. Why don't we do Black Eyed Susie? This is another one we got on that album here. I find it when I when I'm tired, I find it easy, a lot easier to sing a fast and high pitch song than one of the others. <laughs> but this one called Black Eyed Susie. That's, that sounds so good. Oh, we got a Steve's brother, Alan, called Alan Hogle, called up from, uh, and uh, he said he'd, he'd donate a hundred dollars to KBFA if you did. Who's going down to town? That <laughs> oh, that uh, number on your new album. All right. Okay. Pretty rough. Isn't that right, Alan? Try it. <laughs> well, sure do it, Alan. Yeah, we need a get a lot more, a lot more people like that. Yeah, right? those Hogle brothers are getting a lot of airtime these days. I guess I can tune it when we get through picking it. It's one called, uh, this is also on that album, one called Who's Going Down to Town. She 
bring her house at all gone tight She couldn't shut her mouth Who's going downtown? Who's going downtown? Who's going down to Wilding Town? The care might have to go around That's just that's beautiful, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Now, Ray. Well, I'm still on it. Eh? Okay, I want you guys to keep going. It's uh, got wonderful bluegrass. Oh, well, we've been on 46 minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah. Well, another, another. No, we're not keeping. Another three we're not hours keeping time or anything like that. But <laughs> yeah, uh, as Vern said, he's going to be performing at the Grass Valley Bluegrass Festival, sponsored by the California Bluegrass Association. That's coming up in the third weekend in June. June 18th, 19th, and 20th, I believe, and there will be advanced ticket sales only, I believe, for that one, uh, so you don't want to miss that. Also, uh, Vern has a, is featured on a uh, another oh, record oh, oh, recently released by R. Hooley, uh, featuring Rose Maddox. It's Rose Maddox singing good old bluegrass tunes and backed up by the Vern Williams band, so uh, if you already got the Vern Williams record on Rounder, then you probably want to run out and get the, the record on R. Hooley. We'd like to do a, an old Stephen Foster song now, another one that we do a lot. Uh, this one called Old Folks at Home. This is one of my favorite songs.
That's, would you mind? Would you guys mind uh, talking a little bit about yourselves and uh, then do one last tune after that? And that's uh, our favorite subject. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, Just putting you on, Ray. I, I, I know no, that, we wouldn't mind. Okay, I know there's a there's a lot of folks out there who who've tuned in and they may not be really up on bluegrass, but they're just stuck to their radios right now, wondering who this who these guys are and uh, who's doing this real fine singing and picking. And they are the Vern Williams band, and the leader of the, of the band, Vern Williams, is a. How long have you been playing music, Vern? It's a, it's a, been a while. It's hard to say. Uh, uh, ever since I can remember, uh, just I suppose about oh, 35 years, I've been just, you know, picking and singing around the house, in the kitchen, wherever they'd let me pick, uh-huh. sing. Just you, love to sing. Do you got any brothers or sisters they pick along with you or sing with you? Well, i got some. One brother back in Arkansas, he's a. Uh, He's got a band. Uh, well, it's just a family band. Is it play bluegrass? It's real good. Uh huh. But uh, I'll tell the story on you if you don't mind. Okay, I'll, yeah. Keep let I mean, Keith tell the story. This is going to be a new one lies, on me. Lies sound different coming from other people. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you how long he's been listening to it. Bluegrass music. Vern told me the first job he ever had was picking cotton. And uh, how old were you? Well, you don't have to answer that. He was young. It was in the mm-hmm. it was in the thirties, right? Somewhere in there. Anyway, how much did you make picking cotton? See, here I'm telling the story, and I can't remember. Yeah, Keith don't know the story, folks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, how much you made Not doesn't much. really matter. But he told me that the nearest part of civilization from where he lived was a pool hall, a beer joint, right? Right. Okay, not too far from where he lived. And he said uh, they had a jukebox, and they had three Bill Monroe songs on it. Come back to me in my dreams. What was the other one? One of them was uh, Summertime's Past and Gone. And he said they wouldn't let him in, but just in the door to put change in the jukebox to listen to those. And he says he'd sit on a bench outside and listen to them songs. (laughs) Now, that's a long time. Yeah, I I learned most of... uh, well, I guess Bill probably knew his songs about a week before I did because as soon as he play, <laughs> sang them on the radio, I, I knew them right then. I, I knew these songs I've been singing, well, uh, for 30 years that uh, I just never forget them. Right. Why don't we do one of them right now? Okay. Can we do another song? Go right here. Or would you, yeah, I'd rather pick than talk any day. Good. Just a minute while I tune, Ray, if you want to say something. Okay, um, and just getting back into that, uh, there's probably a lot of young folks out there just listening to Vern and Keith and Delbert and, uh, and Kevin just getting turned on to this music right now. Oh, yeah. This is a bluegrass song, one of the first ones that I learned from Bill, too, when I listened to him on the Grand Ole Opry, uh, one called I'm Going Back to Old Kentucky. <laughs> Bye. 
Thank you. We got a, another person phoned up and uh, mm-hmm. wanted to do another tune. All right. <laughs> we got more people calling up, requesting songs now. And uh, well, I don't know, uh, Ray. Maybe we ought to just do about one more here and let the next band get in here and do something. Well, I hate to. I hate to we've see all, it. Well, we've already run over fourteen minutes. <laughs> Four, no, exactly. The taxi's running. We're not so keeping track. I left a cake in the oven. <laughs> Delbert. Uh, Oh, we got you here. Uh, how long have you been picking guitar with your dad? Why don't you get right up to the mic, if uh, you would. I remember dad coming home from work and sitting around the kitchen table and getting his mandolin out and picking it. As soon as I was big enough, I guess, to wrap my hands around the neck, I started trying to keep up with him. Boy, I'll say. He's kind of picking the old Lester Flat style with a thumb pick and a finger pick rather than using a flat pick, right? Yeah, I found it. Uh, I got my got more time to think about the, what I'm doing. If I, That's the way I like to do it too. Not spend so much time trying to hold it, move that flat pick around. Right. Well, but good. Just a finger pick and a thumb pick well, you managed get... to be a lot smoother. Yeah, you guys sure do sound good together. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. The only trouble is they don't fit in your pocket very well. Right. right. I got to straighten them out about every day or so. It's all cramped up. We had a request to do one called uh, When the Springtime Comes Again, and so we'll try to do it.
break time, break time. <laughs> Is that it, boys? Or you want to do yeah, it? I think, uh, unless these guys want to pick another one, I think that'd be enough, Ray. Boy, but we sure enjoyed. hope somebody enjoyed it. We did. We really did. Let me tell you, uh, speaking from everybody I know who's been listening for the last uh, 50 minutes or so, uh, thank you very much for coming down and, uh, and picking for everybody. Yeah, not just for KPFA, favor for everybody out there. There's millions of people who probably listen to that and just love it. I hope so. There hope are. So. There are. We listen to the Vern Williams Band, folks, from Valley Springs, California, and uh, featuring Keith Little on banjo. Keith has just developed into one of the most, the strongest and most inventive banjo pickers this side of the Pecos, and he's from Georgetown, California. Delbert Williams on, on guitar. Kevin Thompson on the old doghouse bass back there. Good, uh, Any a peach. Good rhythm, Kevin. <laughs> and of course, uh, noisy, <laughs> Vern Williams on, on the high tenor and the mandolin. And uh, you're not going to find any better bluegrass anywhere. Well, nice. Thank you, Ray. Okay. We're going to turn it back over to, to Tom Diamant now, now in Control 2. Tom's going to ask you all uh, to, to help out KPFA. Uh, during the last oh, 50 minutes or so, we had a couple of subscribers uh, phoned in $100 sustaining memberships. And let's see if we can keep that ball rolling right now. Courtesy of, uh, it's dedicated all to Vern Williams. Now, show us how much you like Vern's picking and singing and, and all that kind of stuff. So, Tom, if you take it away, I'll, I'll join you in a few minutes.